Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. I've been a professional therapist for 31 years, and the website is my attempt to summarize for you what I've learned from well over a thousand clients, students, many people. What I've learned is that a high percentage of the stress that persons couples, families, societies experience comes from the combination of inherited psychological wounds and ignorance. My website is eight self-improvement lessons, all of which are based on this proposition of the inherited cycle of wounds and ignorance. Lesson one explains what are these psychological wounds? There are six of them. Where do they come from? How can you tell if you have them? And if you do have them, what can you do about them? How can you reduce them? And most importantly, the website says, how can you protect your children from inheriting these wounds? The purpose of this video, which is one of a series, is to summarize for you, in case you're curious, Gee, uh, have I inherited these wounds? Or has my wife, or my brother, or my father, or my son? Normal questions. The symptoms of these wounds are everywhere. They're so common, they're invisible. This video will briefly summarize for you some of the most common symptoms of inherited psychological wounds and ignorance. Ignorance of the topics in my educational website. One of the most widespread symptoms is often dubbed low self-esteem. You know people who lack self-confidence? Could that be said of you? The wound that often is passed down the generations is shame. The feeling, I'm no good, I'm worthless, I'm not as good as other people, I'm unlovable. That's shame. People don't like the, to use that word, so they dress it up by saying, well, low self-esteem. Yeah, same thing. A companion symptom and wound is excessive, not normal, excessive guilt. Guilt is the feeling, the bad feeling that you get when you feel you've broken a rule. A should, an ought, a have to, a cannot, can't, must not. Normal guilt is, help, is a helpful thing. Excessive guilt cripples people. So excessive shame, excessive guilt are two very common symptoms of inherited psychological wounds. Another whole class of symptoms that are all around us can be globally dubbed relationship problems. Do you know somebody that, quote, can't get along with other people? It's angry, impulsive, insensitive, aggressive, rude, sarcastic, angry. Usually those indicate inherited psychological wounds plus ignorance. Um, this is particularly true in families where there's noticeable stress between parents and children, siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents. There's distrust, dislike, bickering, jealousy, envy, fighting, arguing, cutoffs. Those usually indicate that the senior adults in the family inherited psychological wounds and ignorance from their ancestors, their grown, wounded children. They don't know it, and they don't know what to do about it. Another major universal indication of how widespread inherited psychological wounds is, is mental illness. In my professional opinion, as a veteran therapist, a high majority, not all, a high majority of mental problems, mental illness, are symptoms. They are problems, yes, but they are symptoms of the underlying real problem 
of inherited psychological wounds plus ignorance. Obsessive compulsive disorder, borderline disorder, um, all kinds of mental illness labels miss the real diagnosis. Um, so the thing to do, if you know somebody who is labeled mentally ill, or if you think you are mentally ill, look underneath that. You'll find out how to do that in lesson one. How about anger problems? Do you know anybody that's had to go to anger management class? Do you know somebody who loses control and lashes out in anger or frustration, which feels the same, by the way? They're violent, they throw things, they scream, they yell, they call names, they may physically hit other people. They can't control themselves frequently. They may be then um, apologetic and sad, and I'm so sorry, I'll never do that again. And then some period of time later, bam, they do it again. People who have trouble with repressed anger almost always are grown wounded children, and they don't know it. They're focusing on the anger, which is a symptom, not what causes the anger, which is a false self. That's one of the wounds. How about people who are excessively anxious, people who are scared, Oh, my aunt never never learned to drive. She was too afraid. Many people, anxiety is a normal, helpful emotion. When it's excessive, it cripples your life and your relationships, and it cripples your children. That's a symptom of being a grown, wounded child. Do you know anybody that complains of being empty, of feeling little or nothing, of feeling bored, feeling no interest in life, feeling have, being directionless, having no purpose, a couch potato. People who sit around and sort of stare into space, aren't motivated, aren't excited by life and all it has to offer. That often is a sign of being ruled by a false self, which is a major wound that people inherit. Another major symptom that's rampant in our society is crime. People who commit big and small crimes usually do so because a false self controls them. A false self is the key wound that gets passed on from wounded ancestors to the next generation. So the people who are suspected of being criminals or proven to be criminals who are in jail or out of jail on probation, their crimes are a symptom Crimes are, yes, the crimes are a problem, but they're not the real problem. Focusing just on the crime does not heal the underlying ignorance plus psychological wounds a problem. The final indication throughout our culture and in many other cultures, the final indication of inherited psychological wounds is some, not all, illnesses I am not medically trained, and I'm not competent to say with authority, psychological wounds promote some non-organic illness, even maybe some organic illness. My best hunch after 19 years of studying this and listening and observing is there is a connection between biological, physiological health and emotional serenity emotional health, mental health. <clears throat> if you've inherited psychological wounds, I believe you are more prone to some illnesses. That also means you are prone to premature death. I've heard many stories of adults who died in their 50s, 60s, 70s, my own parents among them, who, if you look at their backgrounds, you find they came from low nurturance childhoods, alias dysfunctional childhood families. They inherited wounds. They didn't know it. They didn't know what to do about it. They got no help with it. 
as life went on, they accumulated the results, the accumulated results of poor health, poor eating habits. They neglected their own health, which is a symptom of shame. I'm not worth taking care of. I don't deserve good health. And they died early. These are common symptoms, to my experience after 19 years of observing, of people who have inherited serious psychological wounds and ignorance. The wounds and the ignorance go together. So if, for whatever reason, studying my videos, looking at the website, if you wonder, could I have inherited these wounds? If you have two or more of these symptoms, I suspect the answer with compassion, I suspect. The answer is yes, you are a grown wounded child. If your spouse has these symptoms, if your mother or father or your son, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, boss, employee, co-worker, friend, minister, doctor, if any of these good people have symptoms like this, feel compassion for them, not ridicule, not anger, not blame. They don't know that they have these wounds. They don't want to know. They don't know what the wounds mean. And most of all, they don't know what to do about it. Lesson one in my website explains all of these things based on my own personal experience as a grown wounded child myself who has been in recovery since 1986. It works. And a professional therapist who works with wounded people and helps them find ways to reduce their wounds. It is possible. You can do it. So, I hope you will invest time in studying Lesson 1 at sfhelp.org. For, for more perspective, see the related videos in this series in my playlist, which you'll see the link to on this webpage, on this video. Thank you.